Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to our channel, T-Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch gemini My Geminis. What's going on, Gemini? High vibe. Crosswatcher. Everyone here is welcome. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Okay. Uh, sending you all the love, all the everything. High vibe as I can. Okay. All the love, high vibes, and good stuff to you, Gemini Cross Watcher. Um, it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and every Gemini high vibe Cross Watcher or no one. So just take the messages that resonate and leave the rest, okay? Um, what else? Oh, I just want to thank you guys for everything you guys do. I want to thank you for all your booked readings, your love, your likes, your subscribes, your comments, your donations, like everything Gemini, High Vibe, Cross Watchers. Thank you. Okay, choir, come on to the front. Uh, 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 um. One, two, three, oh, T Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective. T Girl, T Girl, T Girl, Magic and Collective. T Girl, Tarot, Magic and Collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Mm. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing. Gemini, 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 Gemini. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay! Give the crowd, give the choir, a round of applause. Okay. I'm sorry, you guys. I was getting downloads as I'm doing everything else, too, as I'm going through the cards, okay? What I was getting as through the shuffle is some of you guys are going through a tumultuous... Well, I wouldn't call it a tumultuous time. It's like you're going through a, a hard place in your life where you're going through challenges and obstacles. It seems like you're, you can never get a leg up. Or this could be somebody in your energy, okay? It doesn't have to be you. But for you, I feel that there's some things that you are having a hard time moving forward in your life it seems like the harder the distance that you go the the more orphaned that you get or the more the further boy you take 10 steps back and then you take uh 17 forward i mean you take what is what that saying well y'all know what i'm saying you take 10 steps forward and possibly seven steps back okay some of you guys are getting the image of you trying to save money but always something comes up it's like a never-ending story you get paid you think you're going to save for a certain event or you're going to save a little bit for your budget and then the car breaks down or something goes wrong with the house or something goes wrong with something unexpected, unexpected expense comes up. Spirit is saying you have an energy blockage and you need to clear your energy, okay? You need to balance out yourself or chakras, whatever you need to do um, to get into this serendipity state because you have to understand all this is just energy, okay? And I know we always say it, but it is, Okay. So there is some type of energy blockage that spirit is telling you to pay attention because the higher power card came up. So you guys are going within trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on. And it could be an outside source too, okay? It, it doesn't have to be you, <clears throat> so to speak. You can contribute to it if you're not vibrating high enough is what I'm saying, if that's making sense. You need to raise the vibrations, okay? And that was for somebody. But you're going to make it, okay? Just try to change things up a little bit. Don't put all your attention into whatever goes wrong. Go into the solution of you fixing it and trusting divine has already made a way, even though it doesn't look like a way it's been being done. And I'm talking to an earth angel. So your, your faith is being tested, okay? So you can be a testimony and an example for God's glory, okay? For God's glory. Thank you, spirit. Um, also, there is somebody in your energy, a loved one, okay, I'm getting ex-lover, someone who you've broken up with, okay, who you've cleaned out somebody, you had to balance your life out, now you're in this happy serendipitous state, okay, um, because you cut out or blocked out or chopped out somebody, possibly a soulmate energy, okay, who was nothing but a heavy burden that I was getting from this never-ending story, Okay, and they feel like time is running out um, for them to, I don't know, what they feel time is running out for, Spirit. To get this milk and honey, to be, okay, yeah, because you are the milk and honey, okay? So, yeah, they want to message you. Maybe they, child, this person has been trying to find you, 
for some of y'all. Others of you, they want to go the distance now. So they want to message you, okay? I don't feel like they're getting the message um, energetically or physically so. But somebody does want to message you. It's somebody who's fake, very materialistic, okay? I feel that that's why it didn't work in the first place. Because you are more spiritual, you're more elevated, more high vibrational. And this person is lower vibrational, they're this. That's what wanted to pop up. It's like they're always depressed, always sad. Glass always, always empty. It ain't even half full. It's always empty with this person, okay? They waste time. They're a time waster, energy vampire. Every time you go around them, you feel drained, okay? And that's why you had to release this energy. But now they want to do things by the book. They want to balance things out and be in this land of milk and honey because you're in the land of milk and honey. But this person's too old. I'm picking up they and they. 51, 37, 42, 38, way too old to be trying to, you know, I mean, better late than never, better late than never, but now they want to go the distance and be flexible, okay, because they want to be a loyal heart, so I'm picking up they possibly wasn't a loyal heart in the beginning, okay, for some of y'all, they was a cheater, a Decepticon, all that glitter is very materialistic, this person, yeah, Okay, well, I mean, it's always self-explanatory. Same shape, different day. I mean, at the end of the day, you're 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 focused on this. This is where you're at right now. You're in you're you're in the serendipity, the land of milk and honey. You're to be fair. You're cleaning and clearing out things that no longer serve you. You're getting downloads from divine. You know what I mean? Some of you guys could be finding out that you're pregnant. Congratulations if you are. I'm hearing no. Okay, well, I mean, you guys, you are you guys are too old to be knowing how not to get pregnant. Okay? There's so many alternatives and protective uh gear and, and things that you can do to prevent that. Um, so I don't know what to tell you on that one. But it's gonna be okay, okay? It's gonna be okay. This was part of your elevation too for those for others of you that are just out there um interject thank you interjecting in people's energy okay this is you got to clean up some things and stop trying to stop trying to i want to say ride the hog <laughs> was that funny that was funny to me it was ride the hog okay so anyway whatever happened whatever you leaving this person behind is a faded event okay you had to step into your divinity it was time for that okay it was time for you to come together with god the ancestors your inner higher you know uh consciousness okay it's starting the time to elevate and put in teamwork and listen to and, and listen to the ancestors because you got ele uh, elevation well you did get that you got confirmation and downloads that it's time to clean out whoever this is person they're for the streets when I get the community and the chop wood card, this person's for the streets. They're very free with their sexual energy, okay? So Spirit said, yeah, it was time for you to go and balance out your energy, okay? Because, honey, this person is a never-ending damn story. You couldn't get them to be faithful, keep it 100 with you. You couldn't get them to be peaceful. And it was always fated for you to be in this energy. And you could never get into this energy as long as you were dealing with someone for the streets, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what else she wants to say? Because I don't know what this is going to be about. Okay, what, what about the person that's for the street spirit? What's, yeah, they're petty. Very, feeling very defeated. Very low vibrational. They're stuck where they're at with their life. See, this is good that you had to leave it. You would have been stuck. You would have been stuck with this person too. Just how this person, this person is stuck right now. You would have been stuck feeling defeated because they're going through a tower right now. And all this is over you and your elevation. So you wouldn't even be here. You, This person was a catalyst to your elevation for you to get into the Empress energy, whether you be a male or a female, okay? And now they're feeling defeated. But they all, oh, this is what I'm saying. What else, spirit? And now they want to come in their page energy and make these weird-ass offers and come to calmer waters. And it's like, what? Oh, because you're caring and nurturing and loving and mothering and things like this. This person needs to grow up. They're looking, they're an older person, like I said, looking for a maternal figure. This person has mommy issues. Yeah, they do. La, 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 la. Oh, mommy. Maybe their mama left them, left them at a young age, left them at a cold. Yeah, the, whoever is from their past, that mom, they got left, okay? And they have like um codependent issues. Yeah, they felt left out of the... 
Possibly they felt left. Oh, so they possibly didn't get a mother's love. Okay, they didn't get the mother didn't take care of them. And even though she's not in reverse, but like the Queen of Pentacles, maybe she appeared to other people outside in the family like she was taking care of the kids. I don't know, because maybe they kind of look poverty -ish. Maybe they came from a poverty -ish, you know, situation. Okay, and then they have a, a lot of toxic. Their mother was toxic. Okay, possibly a narcissistic energy. Would when she came out with the devil, then she didn't. There, I'm hearing there were there were a lot a lot of long hungry nights but that doesn't i know personally i know people that have parents that are drug addicts or were or whatever the case may be they don't talk to their parents anymore they had horrible childhoods but they for some reason but they were chosen though and they're in their queen of pentacles energy you know what i mean they they're excellent mothers take uh, excellent fathers taking care of their family they would never even comprehend to think the mindset that 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 parent would be in so everybody's not the same sometimes you know just everybody's different some people fall to their current circumstances they let their um their surroundings dictate how their outcome is going to be and then there's other higher vibrational beings that they don't they take they take charge of their own life okay and um and they're outstanding citizens and loving people so anyway what else spirit here you are, Gemini. You didn't clean them up and cleaned them out, okay? But here they come. Yeah. But they want to come towards you, the calmer waters, because they want you They want you to mother them, love them, nurture them. But that's not your job. And some of them, for at childbearing ages, they want to get you knocked up with this sun card. And they want to come traveling quickly. They want to try to talk about, I'm exercising self-discipline and structure now. And I had a rebirth. So they're going to come tell you that they had this rebirth and they want to move forward with victory and success. But they still lazy as fuck. They ain't changed. Like I said, same shit, different day. They still greedy. They still have third party energies. Child, and they still act like they're single. Even they're, so they're going to try to be in a two of cup situation with you. And they still going to be giving to other motherfuckers at the end of the day. So nothing's going to change with this energy. And nothing didn't change. Spirit saw everything. And that's why Spirit told you it was time to go. Because Spirit didn't want you stuck like this person. Because this person was a never ending story. Always okay never ending story and for some of y'all it, it is your mom that you're leaving behind okay that's you realize that was causing towers and being petty and you know what i mean all toxic and stuff spirit is giving you downloads this is unfortunately i know it's your mama but that don't mean anything i'm picking up she's a karmic energy oh yeah she's karmic like oh shit yeah so it could be a father figure who's 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 karmic Okay, but these people didn't have the love that your parents gave gave you. Some of you had amazing mother figures that took care of you, nurtured you, loved you, you know, protected you. You're a, a, your mother's high vibing, your father's high vibing. Okay, and this is a faded event. You're an empath I'm picking up and you needed to, yeah, your mother and your father are empaths. It's a family thing. Yep, definitely. You're a chosen one. You're the son, baby. Yes, you are. So you had to go through this. There's no way of you getting around not going through this, okay? This is to elevate you and to tap into your gifts and your skills, okay? Let's look at you. Self-love, to pour, elevate you into self-love because you're an empath and you kept giving, over-giving the love. And all the love that you were giving was causing defeat, causing towers and things like that. And so you had to step into your Queen of Swords energy and was like, and get some kind of discipline, Okay, so you can move forward. So you're going to have to chop some shit out. You had to let some motherfuckers go that was for the streets. Okay, in order to move to calmer waters and balance out your life, baby. Mm-hmm, yeah. Anything else, Holy Spirit, you want to tell the beautiful, the beautiful, beautiful Gemini? So somebody, they spying, somebody's spying on you from your past, child, because they are stuck. They don't have no forward movement. Nope, they don't have no forward movement. Ooh, no, they do not. They don't have no forward movement, and they looking at you. Look how they looking at you. Just as happy. They only got one pinnacle. There's that baby page coming up again. Okay? And they look. You wish fulfillment too? So they drinking. They heavily burdened. They spying. So all they, every time they look at you or wherever you are on whatever platform that you are, it's a heavy burden. They want to message you so, 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 so bad. So for some of you, if you have a platform, they have messaged you. 
I'm getting, even if you don't have one, they have messaged you, but you've either blocked them or ignored the call. Yeah, they want to message you. I don't know. This is what they want to message you, and that's the truth. They want to either give you some type of truth or clarity, but I don't think this person can. They're a liar. They're a liar. Okay, so everything, yeah. You know, like Judge Judy. You know how I can tell you're lying? Your lips are moving. <laughs> that was my favorite right there. Your lips are moving. Yeah, this emperor trying to try to lie. Look, this is all he want. Okay, this is all him want. I can't hurt. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good times and the bad times that may be. Let's, they don't want to talk about the good times. They don't want to talk about the bad times. They don't want to talk about nothing. They want. They don't want to talk about how their community penis or poom poom. They just want to sweep everything out the door and j rush right into this. And I'm telling you, that's not how that worked, though. I don't understand. You know what I mean? Look, they still all in this energy because they know they're going to have to address that shit. Because you're not having it. No, you, you, uh-uh, you like, fuck that buddy or ma'am. Okay, you're calling the judgment call to made it all. They've been exposed and you ended the cycle with this person. That's why they really in the, um... Nine of Swords and Ten of Swords or Nine of Wands are heavily burdened and spying and looking and lurking and crusting and busting and shit. Look at them. Bad karma. Okay, feeling like the wounded warrior. Woe is me. The will turned in your favor. Now you got good luck and success and you got shit going on for yourself. And I'm over here busted and dusted. I mean, sir, you should have dusted yourself off in the first place so Jim and I didn't have to dust you out the fucking door. That's number one. And now you hear... Wounded and crusted and everything, so all stuck like motherfucking Chuck in these towers over here looking at Gemini's fruitful self. Okay, the way you go through these towers, they all sad they don't get to have sex with you no more. Maybe something with sex had it got them stuck. Something with this penis, child, or poom poom. Something done happened, child, that done got with somebody. Maybe a spirit is looking over here at the baby mama down here got them stuck. So that's what they get. They went back to somebody from their past that the spirit told they asked not to go and release them and move forward and close out that cycle. And they refused to do so because they felt, I'm hearing a responsibility, obligation. But what about the responsibility and obligation to Gemini, though? How, how was they feeling about Gemini and the responsibility with that, though? They wanted to go back to their raggedy. So you know life attracts like energy, right? So they, they're raggedy. They had to go back to raggedy, Gemini, okay? Yeah, they lying. They got they were lied. So maybe the baby mama was like, We'll do better. We'll try it again. You know, we're we're married. We're connected. You're I'm the one. Maybe they tried to say that you was a fake uh I don't know. This motherfucker was trying to say she was the one. Maybe because they got kids together and stuff like that. And this person's like, damn, never ending story. Cause they kept yeah, spirit kept telling uh, this Riri. And I'm not trying to even be mean. Kept telling the Riri to leave. Kept telling the Riri to leave. It's time for you to fucking go. I don't give a fuck if you got kids with this, y'all. Okay, bitch? It's a never-ending story with this situation. It's time to motherfucking go. Or you're going to end up stuck and like Chuck. And guess what? He went back over there. And he or she, they went back over there all for some damn penis. Or some damn rotted vagina. Okay, look, I don't know if his rotted spirit said it was, it wasn't, it wasn't up to par. Thank you, spirit. Her, her, her stuff was not up, or his stuff was not up to par. Okay, there's possibly, I don't know what's on them, warts, bumps, leaks, pus, bumps, I don't know. But they're in their mind, they're in their head now, because whoever they got with got, you see this one, you see this male penis, you see this poom poom, you, look at his hands in his head. He is stressed out, what is going on? It's either, no, it's all the above, all the above. No new beginning and my shit is fucked up, okay? So now, what do I do? What do I, you don't do a damn thing. So y'all be careful with these raggedies trying to come back into your energy because they done fucked up, judgment got called. Look, you moving, okay, to a new cycle and some of y'all are moving in right into your wish fulfillment and you gonna get um married. And then as soon as y'all get married, or go into this beautiful higher level of commitment. And y'all all happy and your serendipity and everything. And y'all starting off on your families and stuff. You got raggedy, busted and dusted trying to come back and message you. Okay? And I don't I, I don't feel like your, your, your person not going to... Yeah, the emperor is like, fuck you, bitch. Oh, the emperor might stab a person. I don't know. And I, your emperor is not going to hear a damn thing. He like, this is my... Uh, woo! 
Child, your emperor? Our emperor but I feel it's the emperor. So I'm talking to a female. Your man, your men's is, is not going to play. Well, if I'm talking to an emperor and you know you're coming towards this emperor, you will fuck a bitch up, okay? You're not playing. You will. You are so magical. You're the hierophant. Like, you all of that and then some and a bag of chips and grits. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yes, you are. Look at you, magical motherfucker. You will stab a bitch. I just said you will. So, my women, y'all ain't got nothing to worry about. You ever going to handle all of this? I know y'all tired of crusted, busted, and disgusted, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. This motherfucker know you done with him. Okay, him know it, but he going to give it one more try, just one more again. And that's not going to work. You, you know this is a fake bitch. Very materialistic, okay? Non-committal, flighty. Still got secrets, hiding secrets. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, so anyway, Gemini, that's, that's been entertaining. I don't like that one. Okay. Well, that's been your reading, my loves. Um, Congratulations to your new manses, okay? And your womenses, okay? So, yeah. You guys got a writer coming in for real. Him not going to play or she, she not going to play at the end of the damn day. Because your mother, ooh, child, I'm, I just feel bad for your person, okay? Because this is like God stepping in. You have your equal counterpart coming in, definitely. So we have the emperor and the emperor showed up. So y'all gonna be a power couple for real. And then you got this, look at this baby pinnacle. He just keep coming. Sit down somewhere, okay? Like, what do you want? You don't play with, you stay. this person need to stay in, 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 they always messing in grown folks' business. And nowhere is this person grown. I don't care. Look how there is a baby. Like, you see these arms on this? These muscular arms on this child and these muscular legs, bitch. What is, what is going on? They could you, you could look. Well, I'm hearing this person look young for their age. The person that wants to offer you this beginning, they look young for their age. And they are older. And they're childlike and extremely immature. Okay? So, all right, babies, I love you. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.